and everybody, I still kind of hate this plane. Yeah, hey guys, <laughs> welcome back to the channel of the Swiss Desert One video, and in today's video, we're finally back in the Aerofly FS4 flight simulator. Yes, the brand new one that was released this month. You know, one of the biggest changes they have made to the Aerofly brand was adding this aircraft right here. Everybody, the A380, and this is actually quite a bit of a game changer, you know? There's actually no proper A380 model out there for any flight simulator, except of the Aerofly FS4 flight simulator. Yes, never before we've been able to fly this plane properly. Which was, by the way, one of the reasons I hated this plane. You know, having no add-on aircraft kind of does show that no one really does care for the A380 at the end of the day. I mean... Look how ugly it looks. <laughs> Never mind, I'm sorry. No, but seriously, I am kind of excited though to finally be able to try, you know, fly this plane properly and do some proper runway testing. You know, flying this plane to some, you know, short runways. Now this should be really interesting indeed because the A380 has one interesting, well, I will call it a flaw. And it's right here when I press this reverse thrust button here on my joystick. Look, I think a lot of you guys might've already noticed this about the A380. It only has one thrust reverser working. Only the inner engines have a thrust reverser. The outer ones actually don't. Now that is, by the way, just for safety reasons, by the way. I mean, the A380 is so big that the wings literally overhang all runways out there. And so, you know, putting reverse thrusters to the outer engines would just cause a lot of rubble to come into the engines and damage them. Right, so this is a safety thing, but th that doesn't matter. It's a flaw. Weakness. This plane might just need a bit of runway. Let's find that out. But first of all, something I've never actually done is start up an A380, so let's quickly do that. Maybe go in death. Now the thing is, the A380 really isn't that hard of a plane to fly, just like most Airbuses, right? What's interesting though is the APU battery right here. Anyway, let's uh, let's turn on the APU. Let's turn on all the fuels here. I'm not properly doing this at all. Never actually even flown this plane. I don't even know how this works. Anyway, a pew generator is available, and so we can already see the screens being on. Here we go, things are looking good. Now let's already turn on the uh, aiders right here. Come on, turn that. There we go, that's what I'm saying. You know what, this model really isn't bad at all. Truly the best model we've ever seen here, you know, from the A380 here in the flight simulator. You know, things like the touchscreen also work very well on the MCDU, very realistic indeed. So not bad, I mean, they could work on the texture quality though, I do have to say, but you know, this is great. Also, come on, there you go. Yeah. Now the plane is pretty much ready for engine startup, I would say. Let's turn on the APU bleeds and also turn on them engines. And I'm just hoping that they turn on. Come on. Okay, so there's, there's the engine start right here, ignition. Come on, fire on the hole. And fire we do have. We see the uh, temperature coming on. In the outside model, we can see some spinach in the engine send and almost an air collision. That's a bit close, but there we go. Engines are turned on, just like that. So now it's maybe time to finally start with our runway testing. So we've got Lugano Airport right here with a thousand meters of runway. You know, that is um, way too short for the A380. I and mean, also from the practical standpoint, this plane needs a lot of airport space, right? It's a big plane, big wings. It needs special terminals that can operate, you know, two decks and all that stuff. Very impractical of a plane indeed. Not very utilitarian. This thing cannot fly everywhere, right? Anyways, maybe just to take off right here and just see if we could theoretically even, you know, land or take off at an airport like Lugano. Now let's give the plane all it has. You know, full power on the four engines. I do have to say though, the A380 isn't really known for being underpowered on takeoff. So let's maybe see, come on now. Can you do this please? 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 I mean, yeah, okay, that kind of worked though. Okay, we hit some trees, but that was literally very close. Good one. All right, a thousand meter long runway does work for taking off. So does, does it work for landing as well? Let's find out. All right, here we go. Let's do this. Shut up. Oh, that was not a great landing. All right, so maybe now go ahead and go full power into the reversing. Now into the two engines that do have reversing power and let's stop. Which is actually, you know what, that's, uh, that worked a lot better than I thought. Was. What? All right, trying to check this out in the replay. This landing actually did go quite well. Kind of disappointed in myself now. Wait a second. Oh, yeah. Look at that, everybody. Okay. Something I do have to say is that the E380 does fly quite nicely. It's very easy to fly, very easy to handle. And here we go. 
Did we land without flaps, by the way? I think I might have done that. So considering even that, I think that was a great landing. And we stopped nicely despite the dual reverse thrust. Good! So, maybe time to pick a new airport. A harder airport. And this is going to be a bit of a challenge, because there's not many airports implemented into the flight simulator. Okay, next one. We've got Albertville here in the Alpine Mountains. This one has an 800 meter long runway. Will that work? All right, here we go. By the way, what I love about this A380 here is how nice the callouts are and realistic they are. Here we go. Just calmly get this plane landed now. Retard, retard. No, don't call me that. I hate that about the A380. All right, let's go full power into the stopping. Let's do this. You know what? I wonder how powerful this plane would be if it had four reverse thrust. Is this, is this a realistic stopping experience right here? Jesus Christ. Turns out maybe the A380 can land anywhere. <laughs> what the hell? This is like a 600 meter long runway. All right, come on. We did kind of land on the displaced threshold now, going full power into the stopping, as you can tell. Very nice. And by the way, yeah, this plane they added here into the Aerofly simulator isn't that completely brilliant. It's not perfect. For example, you can even see through the window. I just noticed that right here. Hmm. Now, you know what? Thanks to this A380, I kind of am running out of runway now, so this is quite a bit embarrassing. All right, you know what? I found another one here, also in the Alpine Mountains. Leans here in Austria, featuring a 500 meter long runway. All right, we're getting proper challenge here. Um, right. Welcome to, uh, okay, I, I kind of m might have made a mistake here. Okay. I mean, I'm pretty sure takeoff won't work at all. Here we go. Full power. Maybe it will work. That's the scary part. Right, full power. Come on now. Four engines all working on getting this plane into midair. Um, is this, is this gonna work? I'm just gonna cry. Really? Okay. No way. How? How are we live? I've, I've just taken off from a 500 meter long runway. Okay, this is not realistic. I don't I don't buy this. Shut up. All right, now proper A380 model is coming for a bit of a landing as well. Come on, let's do this. This is gonna, this is probably gonna work. That's like the scary part. I wonder if we're even gonna find a shorter runway than this right here, 500 meters. I wouldn't land there with a Cessna because I would be too scared. I mean, yeah, all right. All right, here we go. That was a nice landing, actually. I like that pretty much. Okay, come on, let's stop now. All the way, all the way, all the, all the way now. Oh, we're not making it. Ah, oh, that, that, ah, that hasn't worked. That hasn't worked. That is too short. But even if so, we've all only overrun by a few meters. Ah! All right, this is a very big plot twist. By the way, there's a Cessna. Just sorry. By the way, he, come on. How? All right, nice touchdown here on this runway. Actually, genuinely proper decent right here, let me tell ya. And there we go, that was not a... that was not a stop. I think I've beaten the A380. Alright, let me time to move up now a little bit. Let's go to uh, 590 meters of runway. We've got blocked in here. And I think, honestly, we've now found the shortest runway the A380 could ever fly to. If it probably, you know, had zero weight and unlimited braking pass. But, you know, other than that, totally fine. Alright, let's do this now. Head for the runway. Let's hit the runway. Here we go. That's been a hard one. Let's go ahead and stop all the way in the A380 as fast as possible. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, my God. Please make it. Please. Yeah. Yes. How has this worked? How is the A380 alive? That's what I'm wondering about. Let's check this out. I've literally just landed the A380 on a 600 meter long runway. This is not making any sense at all. All right. Here we go. Touchdown. Okay. That was almost in the grass and very hard but there we go a380 is a proper g when it comes to stopping apparently you know what i don't i'm not a fan of that at all i don't like that at all so everybody what have we learned today thanks to the a380 yes never judge a book by its cover or in this case never judge a plane's stopping performance by its fatness or lack of reverse thrust that's great Good one. Anyway, the thanks for 80 in the Aerofly FS4 is truly decent, especially for an included plane. Definitely more realistic than any of the Microsoft d default planes, right? So that's great. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. As always, good night.